So the Israelites would ask, okay, you're coming to deliver us. Who's this God that sent you, Moses? There's many gods here in Egypt. There's many gods. There's many religions. So Moses had enough sense to ask the right question. The Gentile gods have names. There's idols attached to their gods. When I go to speak to my people, who can I say you are? What different, what, you know, what difference, what difference is it between you and these gods? Okay, listen clearly. What's the difference between you? Who can I say is sinning me? Read. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And, and God... Hold up. He says, when they ask me his name, because there's many names in Egypt, <laughs> is it one of those? Are you one of those gods? What can I say to them? Read it. Verse 14. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. I am that I am. That's not first person. That's not second person. That doesn't mean anything outside of that because the Most High is not subjected to time and space. He's not subjected to time and space. When he pulled Moses up and showed Moses everything, Moses wasn't subjected to time or space. He seen the beginning and the Most High showed him the end. So you can't say first person, second person. You can't say gr grammatically we have to look at it this way. No, because you're dealing with the laws within this earth to make those assumptions. There's a different law on the outside of the earth. Where the Most High is, he's not subjected to your grammatical understanding of him. He says, you tell them what? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. I am that I am. So what did he say? The Most High asked, I mean, uh, um, uh, uh, Moses asked, well, what is your name? He says, Ahiah. A Shaw, a Haya, a Haya, a Shaw, a Haya. That's what Moses heard. And that's what he repeated to the children of Israel. Well, what is his name? Moses said, He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We once called him God Almighty. But he told me his name is Ahaya, Asha, Ahaya. He has always existed. That's what I am that I am means. There wasn't a, there, there, there was never a time he didn't exist. He created time. His name is Ahaya. Time is a construct. A heavenly construct. Okay, that he can make, do away with, and recreate because he's on the outside of it. Got it? That's what makes him a higher. How long will his name be called a higher, according to the word given to Moses? Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover, unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel. Say to who? The children of Israel. So it doesn't matter if the, if the Gentiles will try to inject different names later. He didn't present his name to the Gentiles. He didn't present, he, he didn't present his name to the Jews. He didn't present his name to the Hindus, the Edomites, or the Hamites, or the Edomites. 
He only revealed his name to the children of Israel, the children of the prophets. And the Most High revealed his name to us in the end because we are about to go through a deliverance as we did in the past. So that no one, no God get the glory outside of a higher who will send his son. Allah is not going to save us. Jesus, the name Jesus isn't going to save us. His name is Yeshua. There was no J's when Christ walked the earth. That links to Jovi. That links directly to Yahweh. The bull God. The bull God is Jovi or Yahweh. The Greeks called him Zeus. The tetragrammaton is a bold-faced lie. A deception that have destroyed the children of God. Straight out. So let's see how long. Let's read it, Elder Lawyer. Uh, verse 15. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob have sent me unto you. Come on. This is my name forever. This is my name for how long? This is my name forever. For how long? Forever. I, I had to throw the mic over there so that y'all can hear, hear the word of God. This is my name forever. The Gentiles lied to you. To keep us from the God, who the only God that can save us. And through the power of their invocation, they know, they understand when we call on that top God, they must back off of us. Because this is the God of all spirits who fight for the children of Israel. Christ sends Michael to ward off the spirits that are bound in the earth who are, that, that's attacking us. Christ sends Michael to stand up against, against, against these wizards against the Pope, against the Dalai Lama. They control the, the lesser demons. But when we call on a higher in the name of Yeshia, that gives us spiritual power to win realm wars. We're calling directly to the throne. Not these lesser levels in the earth, which produces some good, but evil is also a part of what they represent. And that's what confused the people. You can get into a religion and have a better life and all of that. And there's good principles, but it comes with the trade-off. An evil component. That's modern day religion. Right? This is his name. What other lawyer? This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Unto all generations. Which means, there'll never be a time in the earth that the, that, in which the Most High is going to change his name. You wondering why we're suffering and going through all what we're going through. What happens if, if, if someone need, needs help of you, and you're walking down the street, with your back turned and they call it, they call it another name. How can you answer? They need your help. Your name is Mike and they call it, hey Troy, hey Troy, I need, I really need you Troy. Your name is Mike. Are you going to turn around? Are you going to listen? So the Gentiles strategically put up churches and block the signal with their false demonic forces, with their false gods. Our lives have never been our God. Jesus, the name Jesus came into existence in our modern time. That have never been our savior. And it came with a false image. And now we're seeking Buddhists. Our people are so lost. They're in yoga class now. Simple as a day's old. 